Good morning, friends. I am so glad that you are joining me today on this Tuesday, May 19th, 2020. Today, we're going to be talking about sea creatures. Ooh, so many different living things in our oceans. So let's go ahead and get started. Stand up and we'll begin with our opening song. Start your feet, add your hands. It's time to start our day. It's time to start our day. It's time to give a great big cheer and we'll be on our way. Hooray! Let's speed it up. Get those feet tapping quick and the hands. It's time to start our day. It's time to start our day. It's time to give a great big cheer and we'll be on our way. Hooray! Now we'll go ahead and we'll slow it down. It's time to start our day. It's time to start our day. It's time to give a great big cheer and we'll be on our way. Hooray! Nice job, my friends. If you're standing, let's go ahead and plant our feet firmly into the ground and roll your shoulders down your back. Stand straight and tall. And I'm gonna inhale, we're gonna reach to the sky. Reach, 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 reach. And slow. Let's go ahead and do the same thing again. Inhale, reach. Inhale. Slowly let it out. And this time we're going to reach, 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 reach as we inhale. Bring our hands together in prayer and slowly bring them down to our heart. And we'll pause here. And we'll close our eyes and we'll think about how much God loves us and all the good things he does for us. And we'll take another big, deep inhale. And then share that love of God with everyone around us. Nice job, friends. Let's go ahead and say our prayer. Show me your hand. Glory to God as the angels sing. Thanks be to God for everything. God, forgive me as I forgive others. Bless everyone, my sisters and brothers. Last of all, dear God, bless me. Amen. Nice job, friends. Let's stand tall again for our Pledge of Allegiance. And take that right arm and reach it so far up high in the sky. And your left hand is by your side. Fold your right arm and place your right hand on your heart. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two thumbs up, friends. Way to go. So like I said, Today, we're going to be talking about sea creatures. So get out those thinking caps, put them on, tie them gently, and give them a little tap because I have some questions to ask you. And my first question that I'm going to ask you is, what's today's date? Does anyone remember what I said? That's right. The month is May, right? We are in the fifth month of the year, and that is... The month of May. Can you count how many months we've had in our year already, please, with me? One, two, three, four, five. Five months. We're in the fifth month. Let's go ahead and listen for the sounds in the month of May when we say it. May. How many chops did we do? That's right, just one. It just has one sound. May. Good job. Who remembers what day it is? Do you remember what day that I said it was? Oh, nice job. That's right. It's Tuesday. Today is, get this set up. Two, oops, I'm, push, I'm pointing to the wrong one. Today is Tuesday. Let's go ahead and listen for the sounds in Tuesday. Put your arm out. Let's chop for the sounds. Tuesday. How many sounds did we hear? Two, that's right. Good job. Tuesday. So we know the month that we're in is May and the day of the week is Tuesday. Let's count how many days we've had in the month of May. Month is going or May is going by as quickly as April did. Ready? You want to count with me? We'll start with one. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Keep it up with me. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We've got this. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Today is Tuesday, May nineteenth, two thousand and twenty. This is our last week of school. I can't believe it. But you guys are so ready to move on to four-year-old preschool next year. You guys got this. You know how to do school, what school is all about. So you're definitely ready. So I said today that we're going to talk about sea creatures. Hmm. Think about all the things that live in the ocean and the sea. Can you name any? Hmm. Fish. Yeah, and there are so many different types of fish. Big fish, little fish. Do fish breathe the air that we breathe? No, that's right. Instead of like lungs like we have, fish have gills. It's those things on the side of the fish. That's kind of like their lungs. And that's how they breathe. They get the oxygen out of the water like we get the oxygen out of the air with our lungs. Pretty cool, right? God knew what he was doing, that is for sure. So there's fish, there's little fish, there's big fish. Ooh, talk about big fish. There are sharks. Ooh, they've got big teeth. Some of them have big teeth. And they are very, very big. But they have gills too. And there are dolphins. And ooh, there are octopus. Ooh, have you ever seen an octopus? Cool, they're funky. They look like they have things just hanging off the bottom of them and they kind of skirt across the ocean floor. Hmm, what else? Oh, crabs. We have a lot of crabs in this area since we live in Maryland and Maryland is known for their blue crabs. But once we cook them, then they become red crabs. So that's how we kind of associate more with crabs is the color of red. But blue too, so it doesn't matter. Um, what else? How about starfish? Has anyone ever seen a starfish? Looks just like a star, right? Oh, so pretty. So many different creatures in the sea. And so today we're gonna listen to a story that Mrs. Woods read for us. And it is the, I can't remember what the name is right now. I don't have my phone right here for my, um, Shoot, for the name of it, it is um, the fish with the big smile. It's the fish with the deep sea smile. That's it, the fish with the deep sea smile. So it is gonna be so much fun to listen to Miss Wood. She said her kids love the story. And we have some music that you can listen to and a song that you can learn. It's on our playlists under today sea creatures and I thought it would be fun that you make a sea creature. You can make a crab, a starfish, an octopus and so on our playlist I have added to them um, demonstrations on how to make these different sea creatures. I went ahead and I made a crab. Hmm. You know what I want to add to the crab? Because I know that when we think of summer and crabs needed to add a smile to my crab. If you notice, the crab has a hard shell, right? And he has eight legs, four on each side. Do you want to count these with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I made mine super easy, simple. You can get as creative as you want with your crab or octopus or starfish or a fish, whatever you choose to make. I'm so excited to see your pictures of what you choose. But I just took a piece of paper, folded it in half and cut it off so that it was rounded. And then with the extra paper, I cut its legs. Well, I cut paper to make into legs. And then I added some googly eyes because you know how crabs, they have those googly eyes. I guess they're really more on the top than there, but I wanted you to see his smiling face. So I thought also maybe if you choose a crab or even if you don't choose a crab, you could do um, walk like a crab, 
And I thought it would be really fun if you got a piece of paper and you made an ocean. Maybe it's a blue piece of paper. Maybe you color it to be blue. Maybe you keep it white, however you want. But you can either draw or um, cut out and put on different sea creatures. If you have stamps of sea creatures, if you have stickers of sea creatures, however you want. But I thought you could make an ocean filled with all the different sea creatures that you think of. So have fun with it. I'm looking forward to seeing what you all do. And we're going to get ready and say goodbye. But before we do, on Thursday, we're going to do something a little different. There are going to be some videos that are going to be sent to you all from school that are going to be goodbye messages from your teachers. And um, if you want, you can drive by school and stay in your car and I'm gonna be there and I can wait to you and I would love the chance to be able to do that and see your smiling faces just one more time before our school year ends. So hopefully you can make it. I think our time is at 11 o'clock. I sent an email to mom and dad um, last evening so hopefully they've had a chance to read that and I'm crossing my fingers and saying a prayer that I will see you all on Thursday. Plus I have some things to give you. Um, your shape books that you made and some of the artwork that was left on the walls before um, we left from school. So hope to see you on Thursday. Like I said, I'm gonna say a prayer and um, check the email. I'm pretty sure it's 11 o'clock and I have some things to give you and I just wanna see your smiling faces. So hopefully I'll see you. Goodbye my friends, well it's time to go. Goodbye, my friends. Well, it's time to go. Don't want to leave you, but I really must say goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. We'll put our hands together and we'll bow our heads. Bow my head and close my eyes. Teach me how to pray. Fold my hands and help me say Thank you, God, today. And we thank God for all of you. Mrs. Woods, Mrs. Cornelius, and myself miss you all so very, very much. I will send one more video on Thursday, just saying a little goodbye. And plus there will be a lot of other videos that you'll have the chance to um, see. This is our last week. Stay well, stay healthy. Hope to see you all soon. Hope to see you Thursday.